Hello everybody and welcome to the podcast. My name is Caitlin and I will be chatting with you all today about a book which I have recently read. The book's called Born a Crime. It's a memoir by Trevor Noah. He is a South African comedian, which some of you may know him from The Daily Show. Today we will be talking about Trevor's experiences growing up in and after the South African apartheid, the struggles he has faced, and the insight given to us through his writing. But baby. But before we discuss this compelling story, I would like to tell you all about our sponsor for today's episode. Audible offers thousands of audiobooks and podcasts, including Born a Crime, for the price of only $14.95 a month. I recommend giving it a listen, and now let's get into our discussion. So Trevor Noah was born to a black South African mother and a Swiss father. So this made him a mixed child and his skin was a lighter brown color and did not match that of his mother's. This was an issue uh, for him because he was living in South Africa during the apartheid, um, which means that different racial communities were not allowed to mix. It was against the law. So Trevor's parents obviously broke that law and had a relationship in secret. Uh, This caused Trevor problems growing up as he struggled to find where he fit in. At a young age, Trevor faced these struggles, not not even being allowed to walk on the sidewalk with both of his parents. Um, For example, on page 24 of the online copy of the book, there was a quote and it said, we were in the park, He was walking a bit away from us, and I ran after him, screaming, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! People started looking. He panicked and ran away. I thought it was a game and kept chasing him. So, obviously that shows that his dad was afraid to get caught being seen with his son. It was illegal. He just, obviously it made sense that he wanted to get away. But Trevor didn't understand as a child, but he very much learned quickly that that he had he had a bit of a difference from other kids. So Trevor learned about the uh, unjust reality, and he lived he he lived in it at a very young age. Um, throughout his life, there were many instances where he felt he didn't fit in. He struggled to find a group of friends at school. Um, even whether he should be with the black kids or with the colored kids, struggling to understand where he should be. When Trevor moved to his new school, which was uh, mixed classes, this is after apartheid, sorry, and the classes were mixed, different ethnicities in each class, um, and less segregation, he still struggled to figure out where he fit in Um, and on page 98 of the online PDF he says at break as the only mixed kid out of thousand I faced the same predicament I had on the playground at H.A. Jack where was I supposed to go even with so many different groups to choose from I wasn't a natural constitution constitute of any particular one sorry but as he spent more time at his new school he realized that he has he has his way to connect with classmates he does this through his service okay doesn't make sense now but once i explain it it will he was able to connect uh with every click and at his school they held assemblies every day before lunch and the school had a canteen in the cafeteria that sold lunch items. And since Trevor was a fast runner, he would always run out of the assembly hall and he would run as fast as he could to get to the canteen first so he could get his food. But after a while, some classmates came up to Trevor and asked if they could get their food for him so they didn't have to wait in line. Trevor agreed and so he picked up their food Uh, and then he delivered it to them. 
uh, after a, a little bit, he realized he could make some money off this. So he started to upcharge other kids and buy the food for them. So I have another quote here and it said, I found my niche. Since I belong to no group, I learned to move seamlessly between groups. I floated. I was a chameleon, still a culture, sorry, a cultural chameleon. I learned how to bet, to blend. I could play sports with the jocks. I could talk computers with the nerds. I could jump in a circle and dance with the township kids. I popped over to everyone, working, chatting, telling jokes, making deliveries. And... That quote is from chapter 11, Outsider, on page 99 of the PDF. Uh, so these are, all, these are only a few examples from the book about Trevor's experiences and struggles with his identity. Even as a kid with his identity, um, but he found different ways to overcome these situations and make the most of it. Um, and Trevor Noah, was a has a distinct style of writing so he uses a narrative style to story tell us who are the reader about his struggles and what he has learned from them so he has many very personal quotes that stick out in his writing um i have one here this is probably one of my favorite quotes from the book um, it says, I became a chameleon. My color didn't change, but I could change your perception of my color. And that's on page 43 of the PDF. It's just a powerful quote about emotions and how he overcame his struggles. Um, and if you are struggling to find your place of belonging, there's always a spot for you. Life, it, it, life isn't about isn't about you know fitting in to like a certain spot that others say you should life is about finding and learning about yourself and finding that spot that makes you happy and the one that you want to be in and and that resonated with me i i just i i really connected with that um and so i highly recommend this book um, pick up a copy, read it for yourself. Maybe you will learn something from it like I have. Um, so that's all for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next one. We'll see you. Bye.